Good morning, and uh, thank you for attending this morning. My name is David Waldron. Uh, we are Reflex Blue, and we are a strategic marketing agency, and we love data analytics. Um, and we believe that every banking institution today needs to be using data analytics to solve every marketing challenge. And we're firmly rooted in that belief. However, what we see as an opportunity for institutions is creative. How do you communicate with the customers? What data tells you is one thing. How do you execute the creative communication? So being an agency, we like to be creative outside the box a little bit. So we're going to show you a little video. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll talk about the Lyft engine. At the dawn of the new at the dawn of the new millennium, banking was as simple as a walk in the park, or so it seemed. And it's here where we join the story of one man's journey to banking greatness. Meet Ben. As the new CMO, Ben eagerly joined the ranks of bankers from across the globe who felt certain they were on message and growing their brand. And, of course, their bottom line. But beneath the surface, trouble was brewing. The meltdown of 2008 brought the economy to its knees. Profits that had been within reach were whisked away by the wind. And even worse, the lines of communication with customers became, well, disconnected. The outlook was downright gloomy, and everyone had to do more with less. Time, budget, and staff. But Ben had vision, and he set out to discover a new future for banking. Dreadful adversaries like Reg E and Credit Risk lay in wait and Ben was almost overcome by the angry sea of uncertainty. But fortune was on Ben's side, and the winds of change carried him ashore to find something greater than mere safety. At first, Ben's discovery seemed complex, but with a simple push of a button, it sprang to life. The contraption was wondrous, and Ben knew right away that he finally discovered the new future for banking he'd been searching for. And by using this machine, Ben saw that the foundation of the new future would be built by creating individual connections with customers. With this new one-of-a-kind lift machine, Ben could now speak directly with his customers, delivering personal messages and real-life meat-based offers. Challenges and change have always been the wind in the sails of innovation, and the story goes on to this day, with one wise man glad he got a lift along the way. Pretty cool, clever, creative, get your attention. And so I'm gonna talk about the lift machine, so we'll fire it up here. And at the end of the day, what we're building here is a tool set. A tool set that combines data and creative services that elicits a clever and targeted messaging and offers. We call it Lyft, talking to the right people at the right time via the right way, right channel, whether it's email, direct mail, social, or web. So we know how banks make money, and we work with banks every single day on trying to find those high deposit households, those credit households that have good relationships, and electronic banking services. And the challenge as marketers that you all face every day is success is dependent on a number of factors, speed, efficiency, intelligence, competitive threats. All of these go into the Lyft model. So we've built this Lyft machine. It's not a real machine, just so everybody knows that. It is a lift machine that takes a data funnel, your data, and then other data points that we have access to. Adding that to a layering engine so we're scoring every single one of your households. And by scoring the households, we put them into a chassis, which is a nice way of saying marrying the data with the elements and the services and putting it into an output mechanism. So to show you this in real time, we have a data funnel. And you have all this wonderful data that you have available. And we have data. Like I'm looking for a mortgage. Well, if you know that I'm looking for a mortgage, wouldn't that be a good time to offer me a mortgage solicitation via the channel that I want? So if you know I want a mortgage, how's my credit? What other factors do you know about me? How big of a house? Do I have children? Putting all these elements into the data funnel is what we do, and it's the baseline of Lyft. Once we put them into the funnel, they go into the layering engine. This is where we work on scoring every customer, understanding the impact of the bottom line. What products and services drive profit for your institution? Everything we do is customized to the client. So we're looking at all these elements, understanding how we score each customer, affinity, capacity, 
and profitability. Each time, every customer is going to get a, a simplified score. Sam gets a 32. That then goes into the chassis engine and allows us to marry the right people with all the data elements we know. So if you have a product promotion coming up, we want to be constantly marketing the right products, the right services, to the right people at the right time using every available data input. So at the end of the day, all of our product offers will come out of the output engine. We produce our own creative for our clients. And clever creative that gets results is clever creative that people look at and remember. So we're going to the right people through the right channel, through the right messaging. So in this case, the couple has been scored, and we find out that a CD offer is just the perfect offer, capacity, affinity for your brand, and a direct mail channel is right for them. For this young lady, mobile banking and auto loans through a web banner. That's how she's going to get her information. And this family of four out for a Sunday stroll, interest checking and mortgage through an email solicitation. So we have some results we wanted to share today. Chemical Bank, one of our great clients, based in Michigan, 156 branches, six billion in assets. They had a goal of 50,000 net new services in last year. With the Lyft engine, we contributed exactly 26% to that goal. We were able to isolate 26% of those people came through the Lyft engine. From a nucleus growth, these are those households that have a high deposit relationship, over $10,000, have electronic banking, and have a credit relationship. You would agree these are the core of your bank. And if you get more of these people, you are going to grow your bank and you're going to lift your bottom line. For Chemical Bank, we were able to grow 19% over 2011, 2012. From an onboarding perspective, we look at onboarding, 8% activity response rate after they've opened an account with the institution. That's a $9 acquisition cost. If you're achieving these numbers today, Godspeed, keep going. If you're not, come see us at our table. We'll talk about how we built this program. From a cross-sell standpoint, 11% activity response rate and a $7 acquisition cost. So as we build this model, the Lyft machine, for our clients, we always recognize that everybody comes into an institution one of three ways, through a DDA, a credit, or a single service CD relationship. You're already established with some form of onboarding, with calls and follow-ups. But the Lyft engine takes place 30 days in, and it scores the customer segments. It understands the next best product. It understands the channel to talk to. It understands life stage and creative services, how they want to look and feel. So we run this through the Lyft engine, and we get to 120 days of ongoing cross-sell, talking to the right people at the right time with the right message. Uh, we are offering a free Lyft analysis. You can come outside and talk to us at our table. And I thank you. It took us four years to build this, and I just broke it all down in eight minutes. So thank you very much.